to Wayne. Mad Liberator. Death Operator. What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We are here. Always sunny in Philadelphia. Season 8 episode nine two more episodes left here in season eight it's been a great season a lot of bangers uh last episode they were gaming it was some uh, apocalypse game i think i don't remember exactly some game uh, and uh, yeah they got locked into it too much and then dennis was like i don't want to do this that's not real life and then he just completely shut it he was like i delete your characters you guys are cooked Sorry. And Charlie was he was going in. He almost got a pretty girl. Like he was he was locked for a second there. He was locked in. And um Yeah. Fun episode. I'm excited to see what happens next. Two more episodes left here in Always Sunny. Let's get into it in three, two, wing. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, it's Quijinos, you know, best restaurant in Philadelphia. Yes. Quijinos. Monthly dinner. Oh, monthly dinner, baby. I tell you, I've been looking forward to this for 29 days. Me too. I did my hair good and I wore two clothes. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. That was an interesting choice, but I get it, dude. You're excited. You are excited about tonight. Hey, hell, I'm excited tonight. You know? Oh, they got. Oh, that's rough. The action is. Maybe we'll get lucky and watch one of these dumbass waiters spill spaghetti sauce all over himself <laughs> and fall down or something. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, let's not be childish. Let's let's keep it classy, you know? Let's... Classy. Classy. I can be classy. I can yeah. be classy. Mm -hmm. Did you... Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Hi. Hi. How many will you guys be? Two. And give us a nice table. Okay. This is a big night for us. We're celebrating our anniversary. Yeah. Or the anniversary of us moving in together. Which is like an anniversary. It's been a long time. It's an anniversary. It's what it is, really. Well, great. I, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you can just hand that to me. Yeah. I was trying to feel your breast. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> so that we got a good table. We want a good table. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Mac and Dennis are here. Should we sit with them? Really? Mm. Charlie, this is our night. Yeah, but we could all celebrate it together. That'd be fun. We can do our thing. They can do their thing. I'm sure at some point they'll come over to pay tribute. We can say hi to them then. That's weird. I know Charlie sees me, but they seem to be sitting at their own table. Well, good. Good. They should sit at their own table. Look, I'm sure at some point they'll come over and they'll pay tribute to us. They'll pay so tribute. We can say hi to them then. Yeah, it still seems kind of awkward, though. No, no, look. We spend every waking minute together. It'll be good for us to keep our distance for once. It's one minor coincidence. It doesn't go any further than that. Damn it. He's here as well. The gang dines out. They all went to the same exact place. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe they haven't come over to pay me tribute yet. I was here first. I know they see me. They're probably over there right now making fun of me. I get it, guys. You know what they're doing? They're calling me a scarecrow. Because I'm all alone. She corner. talking to herself? It's real funny. You know what? There's no shame. In a woman, an adult woman, taking herself out to dinner, enjoying her own company. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave because I don't have to. And also I can't because I have a Groupon for this evening that expires tonight. Yep. It does expire tonight, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. I, yes, it does. I'm sorry. Are you going to order now? Well, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. <laughs> Why don't you sit down? Oh. Uh... Are you almost off? Are you off soon? Did uh, you sit and have dinner with me no, tonight? Got a long shift. Uh, I cannot do that. Uh, maybe I could at least get a drink order. We're really busy tonight. Does the group on cover drink? Nope. Just the tap water then. It's been 10 minutes. Not a wave, not a nod. Have you seen them do anything to acknowledge us? I thought we agreed that we would not let it get to it's us. It's not getting to me. It's just, you know, a little bit rude is all I'm saying. A little bit rude. Whatever, I don't care. I'm, <sighs> I'm over it. Okay. How good's their table, though? Don't, 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 don't look directly at them. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Glance around the room. He's going to land on them. Glance around the room? Yeah. Too obvious. How do you want me to look at them? With your eyes. Just look with your eyes. Be subtle. Be small. My eyes, they slant down. I don't have a good I understand Dennis right here. When you're trying to, when you see something and you can't just stare, you have to do the... I think it's a better table than us. I don't know. Can we just 
Yeah. To our monthly dinner. Yeah. Right? Don't let them ruin it. Okay? I have some issues that I want to talk to. Ah, you. shit. Really? No. I, look, I, let's let's keep things light. I don't want to get all heavy. Let's not let tonight become more unpleasant than it's already. Become. Oh. Okay. Already, I'm irritated. I'm, I'm already sitting on the wobbly chair. The wobbly room. chair. We'll just ask the waiter for a book of matches. I don't want to sit on a pile of matches. Look, I'll just scoot back. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, but now I feel like you're sitting so far away from me. And it's going to be fine. Okay. This is a perfectly suitable distance for us to have our, our monthly dinner. God damn it. I am so sorry. Are you? His chair's wobbly. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me get you a book of matches to put under A your book of matches. Sit on a pile of matches. Look, sir, can you just get us a better table in general? Unfortunately, no. We're fully booked tonight due to a Groupon deal. Oh, that sounds excellent. We'll have one of those. No, we we'll have we'll one of those. Frankly, I'm disappointed in you people. This is Gugino. It's supposed to be the nicest restaurant in Philadelphia. Here I am, a regular, a full paying customer, and I'm sat by the kitchen on the wobbliest chair in Philadelphia. You know, forced to eat dinner with this swarm of coupon waving trash? This is crazy. You know what? Forget it. Doesn't matter. Get me a pile of matches to sit on. That'll be fine. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. There's more. There's an old short fat man here. He sat with his young sleeping partner. <laughs> his young Bring sleeping you partner. Read from us. Of course. Although the table did just order cocktails, so maybe. I don't need their entire life story. Just go get the wine. Well, that was a nice gesture. Was it? Charlie, <laughs> stop looking over there. Can we just go over and say a quick hello, all right? Then it's done with. There's no more awkwardness. Charlie, I am the oldest one in the group. If anybody's going to say a quick hello, it's them. Charlie, I want to talk about where we are, where we've been, and where we're going to be. <laughs> Dude, the toupee. <laughs> Living with you has changed my life. I, I used to be unaware. Hi, sorry to bother you. What are you doing, man? I'm in the middle of something here. Get out of here. Of course, I just wanted to deliver a glass of our house red from the two gentlemen near the kitchen. Need it. Well, great. See, there's your tribute, Frank. Awesome. Now, can we go over and say a quick hello? No. I'm in the middle of saying some words Yeah, to but you. you said them and they were weird. Like, all right, you know what? How about I just stand and I bow? No. Ignore them. This is ridiculous. I mean, that was a very nice gesture. Was it? That was a very you nice gesture. For two people and house red. That wasn't nice. They're just trying to agitate us. Hmm. Well, yeah, one glass. <laughs> Everything's not okay. There are men here and they're watching me. Oh shit! Shh, just look at me. Just look right at me. Everything's gonna be fine. But I'm in a lot of shit. Okay, so I need your help. Oh good. You have a friend. <laughs> Can I take your order now? Yes. Oh, I'm not with her. There's some shit going down right now. No, 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 he's just... <laughs> Please, let's order. Look, you told me you was in trouble. I don't know what's happening here. No, it's okay. I'm fine. Do you want to split an appetizer? No, I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit. We could get your food out really quickly, and you wouldn't have to be embarrassed about being here alone for very long. I tell you what I'm going to do. I I'm going to go ahead and order when I'm goddamn good and ready to order. Oh, she's the worst tonight. Is that table having a meal consisting only of loud noise, screams, and hollers? Uh, they seem to be celebrating something. Oh, could be a tactical victory. What do you think? A tactical victory. How's the chair now? Oh, still wobbly. Why don't you just get me a new chair? I don't think it's the chair. You don't think it's the chair? Well, maybe my old pal, uh... Abraham Lincoln begs to differ. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, you can just hand it to me. Oh my God, she's having a horrible night. Hi. Can you get him a new chair, please? Sure. Oh, okay. oh uh, maybe this George Washington will make it come here faster. <laughs> the smile on his face. Did us some smoking. It was your friends over at the other table. And they wanted me to relate to you that it's our most expensive bottle. They said to say that. That's a classy move. I'm gonna stand up and bow. I'm gonna stand up and bow. Let me think. We gotta, we gotta do something in return. Okay. I'll tell you what. We'll send it back. Yeah. We'll say, I don't want that. Yeah. We don't want that. What is it? Chilean wine is out of season, and that their taste in wine in general is very poor. No, that's it. we gotta be more subtle than that. I don't want them to know that we're thinking about them. 
Yeah, dude, Charlie's looking right at me. Stop it. Stop <laughs> <laughs> right, God damn it, I'm just gonna pour the wine out. <laughs> oh no. It's time to fire back. Oh boy. Oh boy. I gotta get over there. Oh my god, I'll just take a plate of spaghetti. Oh, great. Didn't expect that. Uh, actually, I was coming over to see if I could take your chair. What? No. What for? Trying to accommodate that gentleman over there. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's a dig. All right, fine. Take the chair, but I tell you what, when you're over there, tie his shoelaces together. <laughs> you want me to tie a customer's shoelaces together? <laughs> Look, I'm in the big <laughs> sky. I'm a waitress, okay? Look, let's team up and stick it to that guy. It'll be hilarious. I would lose my job. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I, I would lose my job and I wouldn't be able to work at Guginos anymore on my family. And it'd be so disappointed because they're currently so proud of my accomplishments. I mean, God, lighten up, guy. <laughs> I'm gonna take the chair. Fine, take the goddamn chair. I'm gonna take the chair. This guy's doing a great job this episode. I love him. And he's, he's doing. Oh, oh, that's rough. I feel that chair. though. I 100% oh, feel man. that. Thank you for asking. It might be worse than the first one. I mean, I cannot find a single flat mm -hmm. spot in this entire restaurant. Maybe I should have to <laughs> It's about you always putting me down. And you know what? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm at it. Where are you going? I'm going to go sit with Frank and Charlie. You've got to go to them. No, sit down. Sit. Sit. Don't. Say something nice to me. Oh. What? I'm not going to sit down until you say something nice to me for once in your life. Your hair looks small. That... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Matt. Right, sit down, sit down, please. Please sit down. Okay, listen, listen. You remember that night at Dooley's pool party? That fine summer eve? when I did that double jackknife twist and blew everybody's tits off. You remember that? And then I went down on Chrissy Orlando on the trampoline later that night. <laughs> yourself. No, uh, listen, I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> the only reason I was even able to attempt that amazing feat of courage was because I knew if I failed, you would. Everybody, uh -oh. all our patrons of Gugino's, listen up. Hi, everybody. Frank Reynolds, Charlie Kelly, we would like to make a toast. Now, in front of you, you each see, you have a glass of Sambuca. Yeah. You see this? Okay, white, everyone got beautiful it? Beautiful drink. Yeah. Dude, everybody has Sambuca but us. Now, we have an American hero tonight. So quick uh, round of applause for our troop here. Nice for our troop here. And to anyone who this does is not a nice have a gesture. glass of Sambuca, look around now, you'll see them. Those people refuse to drink. Yeah, they don't know how to pay tribute. They, they hate America. They hate America. <laughs> They hate the people who work hardest for them. They turn them into janitors. Mm. It's not right. Ah! Damn them now. To the troops! To America! Good job, fellas. We did it. Oh, this is unbelievable, Mac. No, oh. Really ruined our heartfelt moment. Now, there's a way we could get it back if you just kind of jump. Around. No, you fool! No, you that fool! Time has passed. That time is Just tell me what you I love Glenn, dude. Glenn Howerton's such a good actor. Uh, please return to your table. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna sit next to the hero. To oh, he's like, no, no. He was great. Because this guy would be here to catch me if I faltered. Yeah. The world is a safer place when he's around. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Oh, my God. God. Cause you are the wind beneath my wings. Thank you. Did you Thanks. play the guy or pay the guy on the piano? Everybody's like Wow, dude. I mean that was so touching. That's an amazing thing you said about the truth. Now can we huh? go back to the <laughs> <laughs> That was my me? Yes, he wasn't there when I went down on, on Chrissy Orlando. I did not get that at all. I'm so, Dennis, that's really sweet. Thank you. I'm sorry, what is happening? Is yeah, it's, it why is it loud as hell? It's freezing. The air is blowing directly on us. What, I mean, what is happening? 
up the AC. Because they knew we were sitting right underneath a vent. <laughs> freeze us out. I didn't have your back before, but now I'm gonna be the wind beneath your wings. I'm gonna be the wind beneath your wings. What are you people doing? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. What are you people doing? Spaghetti. That was maybe the best episode of the entire show. I loved that episode. It was only 18 minutes, 18 and a half minutes long. That was a fantastic ass episode. Holy shit, dude. The scene of, of, um, of Mac and Charlie staring at each other. I have been waiting to, to see that scene because the only frame I've seen was it was a it was the frame of Mac and his eyes were really big. It was like it was like you would what you would see if you were watching that scene and you were tripping. Like it looked like really trippy, but not like in a uh, a you know fractal way. It was more like eye big, eye kind of big. You know, face was a little meshed. It was it was really funny. But uh, I'm I'm excited to finally see that scene. I didn't know that scene was. Hey, I, I was wait I was waiting at one point because I I recognized the backs the the uh, the background um where where Mac was and I was like oh I was like I was thinking in my head I was like oh wait I know exactly where this is from and then now knowing the context. That's one thing I love about reacting to these shows too, whether it be this or even when I was reacting to Breaking Bad and now Better Call Saul when that, you know, when I'm getting into that. Um, the memes, because I will see memes and I'll have zero context of what the fuck is going on. And then I see the context and I'm like, that's amazing. I love that. And it makes it, it just makes the memes even more better. Um, that was a good episode. D, by yourself. How did, do that? What do they even have the money for all that? Isn't that place expensive as hell? I would assume. Maybe they just got all paid and they're spending all of their paychecks on this. Dee had a group on and she didn't really order besides a plate of spaghetti. Fucking I felt bad for the waiter, man. That waiter tough. The poor guy. <laughs> poor guy. That's why I do not wait wait tables i'm just a cook because i don't think i could take customers i mean most are pretty normal but you're obviously going to get the rude customers you're going to get the entitled customers you're going to get all sorts of you're going to maybe even get customers like this um but god fucking hilarious great episode loved it so much maybe this was this, was this the shortest episode of the show it was great it was very dialogue heavy like just two uh banter between two two characters and for the most part two to three <laughs> characters and fucking awesome awesome episode one place they were all sitting down for the most part very well done episode very well done and i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day if i'm wearing twitter twitch tiktok and instagram all social media down in the description below and we'll get you for another video goodbye